Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply whole numbers and fractions. And we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump into number one, where we have three times one half. Now, the first thing that we want to do, we want to rewrite our whole number as a fraction. And it's as simple as putting that whole number over one. So for the three, we're going to rewrite this and put it over one. Now the point of this, we want a numerator and a denominator, so a top and a bottom. Putting that three over one does not change the value of that three or the problem. That fraction has a value of three. It's equivalent to three wholes. Once we have the whole number written as a fraction, we bring down the rest of the problem. So the multiplication and then the one half. Now we're ready to multiply straight across. So numerator times numerator and then denominator times denominator. As far as the numerators, three times one is three. The denominators, one times two is two. So three halves or three over two is our final answer but it's an improper fraction. So we don't wanna leave it improper. We want to convert that to a mixed number. So this is the simplifying step. We are going to clean up our answer and rewrite it as a mixed number. So we do that by dividing the numerator by the denominator. So three divided by two. Now, how many whole groups of two can we pull out of three? Well, one, one whole group of two. So that's our whole number part of our mixed number. The remainder, which is one, is going to be the numerator. So if we pull one whole group of two out of three, we get a remainder of one. And then we keep the denominator of two the same. Always check to see if you can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. Well, one half is simplified, so we are done. Our final answer is one and one half. Now, before I move on to number two, I do wanna mention that our answer, one and a half, is less than the whole number that we started with, three. Normally, when we think multiplication, we think we are going to increase in value as far as the numbers that we start with. Well, when we multiply by fractions, if we multiply by a fraction that is less than a whole, we are going to get an answer that's less than the whole number we started with in the original problem. So that's something to keep in mind. Again, if we multiply by a fraction that's less than one whole, we're going to get an answer that's less than the whole number within our original problem. Let's move on to number two, where we have eight times four fifths. So first thing, let's rewrite our whole number as a fraction. And we do that by putting it over one. Bring down the rest of the problem here. And now we're ready to multiply straight across. So eight times four, well, that's 32. And then one times five is five. So we get 32 over five. That's an improper fraction. Let's convert it to a mixed number and see if we can simplify further once we have it into a mixed number form. So we do 32 divided by five. How many whole groups of five? out of 32. Well, six, that gets us to 30. So we have a remainder of two and then keep the denominator of five the same. Two fifths is in simplest form, so we are done. Six and two fifths. Moving on to number three, we have five sevenths times five. So let's rewrite the problem. Five sevenths times, put the five over one, to put it into fractional form, and then multiply straight across. So five times five, 25, and then seven times one is seven. Convert that improper fraction to a mixed number, so 25 divided by seven. How many whole groups of seven can we pull out of 25? Well, three, that gets us to 21. So we have a remainder of four, keep our denominator of seven the same, three and four sevenths. Four sevenths is in simplest form, 
So that's our final answer. And lastly, number four, we have 3 fourths times 12. Rewrite the problem. 3 fourths times 12. And multiply straight across. So 3 times 12, 36. 4 times 1 is 4. So we get to an improper fraction here. Let's convert it to a mixed number. So 36 divided by 4, that's 9. And we hit 36 exactly. So there's no remainder. That means our final answer is going to be a whole number. So the final answer for number 4 is 9. So there you have it. There's how you multiply whole numbers and fractions. Make that whole number into a fraction, multiply straight across, and then simplify your answer. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.